in an ongoing battle for technological supremacy, the United States government has taken further steps to tighten controls on the sale and development of advanced artificial intelligence chips, aiming to curb China's progress in this field. The new restrictions, announced by the Commerce Department, close loopholes that previously allowed Chinese firms to acquire and build chips used for training advanced AI algorithms. These measures reflect the Biden administration's commitment to preventing China from utilizing AI for military purposes, while China accuses the U.S. of hindering its technological and economic growth. The Background The U.S. government introduced chip sanctions a year ago, marking a new era of techno-competition between Washington and Beijing. These sanctions restricted the sale of powerful AI training chips capable of high-speed data sharing between clusters. Notably, the controls prevented NVIDIA, the world's largest chip maker, from selling H100 and A100 chips to Chinese companies. However, NVIDIA quickly developed alternative products, the H800 and A800, which operated slightly below the threshold set by the previous rules. Although slower than the most advanced chips, the H800 and A800 remained valuable for building powerful AI applications. Tightening the controls to address the loopholes and maintain a focus on national security, the Biden administration has announced new restrictions on chip sales and equipment. The restrictions will now cover the reporting of sales for various advanced chips, control the sales of chip making equipment and design software, and prevent Chinese companies from obtaining chips through foreign subsidiaries. These measures aim to close existing loopholes and signal the administration's intention to address any future gaps. Impact on Chinese Tech Companies Chinese tech giants, including ByteDance, Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent, reportedly placed substantial orders for H-800 chips in recent months, amounting to $5 billion. However, it remains uncertain whether these sales will be completed before the new restrictions take effect. Baidu, for instance, recently unveiled its latest language model, Ernie 4.0, which matches the performance of ChatGPT. While Baidu did not disclose the specific chips used, an anonymous source confirmed the utilization of NVIDIA chips. The focus on chip making equipment. In addition to the tighter rules on AI training chip sales, the new restrictions also emphasize control over chip making equipment. These rules ban the outright sale of specific equipment, regardless of its intended use. Previous controls relied on determining the end use of equipment, making it easier for Chinese companies to obscure their intentions and acquire restricted equipment. By imposing broader restrictions, the U.S. government aims to prevent the diversion of equipment for military purposes. Controversy and Concerns the U.S. chip restrictions have stirred controversy among American chip makers, with concerns about the impact on the semiconductor industry and the potential for overseas customers to seek alternatives. The Semiconductor Industry Association, which represents U.S. chip firms, expressed its concerns about overly broad and unilateral controls, urging the administration to strengthen coordination with allies and ensure a level playing field for all companies. The delicate diplomatic moment between the U.S. and China further complicates the situation, as both countries seek to improve relations while grappling with technological competition. Boosting China's Domestic Chip Industry Ironically, the U.S. chip restrictions may have inadvertently contributed to the growth of China's domestic chip industry. While China's chip industry has been considered behind that of the U.S., Taiwan, and South Korea, the announcement of the Mate 60 smartphone by Huawei, a company targeted by U.S. export controls, showcased China's progress. The Mate 60 featured a 7 nanometer chip manufactured by Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, China's most advanced chip maker. This suggests that SMIC has made unexpected technical advances or has successfully evaded export controls. The Future of U.S.-China Relations the tighter controls on AI chips and equipment indicate that tensions over chips and their AI capabilities will continue to shape China-U.S. relations. The new rules explicitly target tech transfers to leading Chinese AI chip design firms and may be updated annually. 
Chris Miller, an associate professor at Tufts University and author of Chip War, asserts that the U.S. is unlikely to shift its approach, emphasizing the centrality of chips and AI capabilities in the ongoing competition between the two countries. The U.S. government's recent escalation of AI chip restrictions represents a significant development in the ongoing battle for technological dominance between the United States and China. By closing loopholes and tightening controls, the Biden administration aims to prevent China from harnessing AI for military purposes. However, these measures have generated controversy and concerns within the semiconductor industry, with potential implications for the U.S. and global supply chains. As the U.S.-China AI chip war rages on, the strategic importance of chips and AI capabilities remains at the forefront of this technological race. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos on interesting topics like this.